Channel 5 serving the best place on earth. Now, Eyewitness News is everywhere. More than 20,000 of San Francisco's lowest paid employees are getting a raise. Today, the city adopted a living wage plan that will boost the salaries of workers for companies that have a service contract with the city. The boost to $9 an hour includes workers at SFO. Living wage advocates are hoping other employers will follow the city's lead. Minimum wage just is not enough for anybody to be able to provide for themselves and their families. And I'm really encouraging employers, whether they're in the public or private sector, to take a look at what they're paying. Legislation has also been drafted to provide health care benefits to workers who earn a living wage. As for the workers who take care of San Francisco's homeless, they held a demonstration over money today. While many of them are covered by today's living wage program, others who already earn more than $9 an hour are not. And they say they need a 5% cost of living raise, not a 3% the city is offering. San Francisco now has the most liberal living wage proposal in the country. That's good news to the 21,000 people who work for the city or its contractors. SFO employees are one example. They'll now earn at least $9 an hour under the new agreement. That's up from $5.75 in many cases. Next year, they'll earn $10 an hour and they'll climb, continue to climb from there. Even more than the money, one Skycap says he's pleased employees will finally get health insurance and benefits. Because most of these people, especially single parents, they can't afford to take off when they have no sick leave. That means they were working sick. Raises should kick in by mid-September.